Well, hello there, and welcome to another Live Long Gear review. So, today, today, right now, for you, now I have the, uh, the Magnesium Firestarter review, um, and this Magnesium Firestarter is made by a company which remains a little bit of a mystery to me. It's called SE. Now, I'd love to say I remember where I bought this. I believe I got it on Amazon. You can find them on Amazon, but I've not, didn't do a ton of research and looking around, but after like a quick Google search, I didn't figure out what the SE is, what it stands for. It doesn't say on the package. So here's, here's the package information, the features, directions. Again, pause it if you want to check it out. I'm just going through it kind of fast for sake of keeping the video short. Um, yeah, so anyhow. It's a, it's a completely different color than some of the other ones I've reviewed. You guys know I've done a, a Coglins, 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 whatever it's called, Coglins, I think. I've done a Coglins and I've done a Coleman's. And if you look at the colors between the three, uh, this, this SE one is, is definitely a stand apart. Now, some people say the Chinese ones are terrible. Well, Coleman's is Chinese. I did a review on it. Check some of my other videos out. And it does actually work. Coglins is made in the USA. And again, it works. I haven't done a side-by-side -side comparison to tell you which one works better, why, how, or whatever, but uh, they do both work. So this one, I don't know. It's a, it's a funny color. It's made, it's, it's a lot thicker than the other ones. It's larger. Um, it's, it's bigger overall. It's a different color, which kind of, that, that's probably the biggest concern I have. Now they did, they did add a rather robust striker rod. Uh, they did add the glue around the striker rod so that the striker rod, if dropped in theory or when scraped and pressure is applied, will not be forced out of the bar, which would make it almost useless because it's so thin it would break. And um, they added, uh, again, kind of something you see with those magnesium fire starters, a what looks to be like a piece of saw blade. So serrated on one side, used for scraping the magnesium, and uh, smooth on the other side, used for scraping the striker to produce your sparks. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm going to, I'm going to take this, this little chain and uh, undo it and get this scraper off, this metal piece off. Now it's cool that they give you a metal piece, you know, I, I actually think I saw one of these online for three cents on Amazon today. So that's, that's unusual. I didn't even check to see if it was new or used, I just thought, wow, that's, that's kind of goofy. Three cents. Hmm. So, anyhow, I'm going to move my that's a knife out of the way and uh, bring in the cruddy knife but let's uh, let's go ahead and test this thing let's just get right through it I'm gonna use what they've supplied me I'm gonna test it out see how well it works on this bar and if it fails me or if it doesn't fail me I'm gonna switch to using the knife which I've scraped the other bars with kinda give me a comparison and kinda show you guys you know cuz a lot of people if you're like me you know I might take this little piece of steel with me but I think it's this the liability of it cutting through things because it's pointy and sharp and not, doesn't have a sheath. There's more of a liability than I really want to carry around and I'm always going to have a knife on me. Um, just I'll probably have a knife if I have one of these for sure I'll have a knife or a Leatherman or something. So I just this this is just an extra piece of metal that's sharp and not sheathed and I just don't like carrying it around. So here we go. Seems to be scraping fairly smoothly. Whoops I've done a terrible thing. Let's Let's do this. My little gun cleaning patch patches. I've got a couple thousand of them. So let's scrape and scrape. And uh, seems to be scraping fairly smoothly. Uh, I'm not a fan of these saw blade scrapers. You almost have to scrape it on the edge of the block to get a, to get a nice smooth rub. Uh, to get actual pieces to come off. You have to kind of start on the edges. Which, you know, is not a big deal. But... I just don't like it as much. So I'm getting very, very fine flakes. I'm putting a fairly good amount of pressure. I know it's not very scientific because, you know, who knows how many pounds of pressure I'm putting in there. Um, so I'm going to switch to my, just my cheapo $10 Made in China special here. And uh, I'll scrape at the back of that and see what we get. I'm actually not getting very much here. This block actually seems to be a lot more firm. I'm going to switch back to the scraper. It seems to be much more firm than some of the other blocks I've, I've reviewed. I'm actually putting a lot of pressure on it now, seeing if I can get bigger chunks, and it doesn't appear like it. 
Now guys, remember, I don't really have any bias in any of these videos other than a product that works or doesn't work. I try and keep it unbiased, but I, when I say I'm not biased, I mean I'm not, I'm not doing it because a company says they'll give me product or whatever. I do it because I want to find what works. And the goal is to find, my goal is to find what the most inexpensive, best working items are. What they are, whether they are something you can buy at Walmart or maybe something you can get off Amazon or who knows where. I want to find out what they are, how much they cost, and how well they work. So, we got quite a bit going here. I think that should be enough to start a fire. Um, should be. So let's kind of bunch it up together. Now I use the cloth to catch it uh, primarily and also to be a part of the tinder so that you guys can tell fairly easily when it catches on. So here we go. Well, let's test the spark first. Sometimes, you also, I'd like to point out that if your striker doesn't work at first, keep trying, because you see how I made one scrape there? Usually, a lot of times, not usually, a lot of times they're covered in a paint, so you just gotta uncover that paint, or the magnet, or the striker, by taking the paint off. So there's the sparks, that looked pretty good. Pretty good, alright, well, hopefully we don't burn the dollar. If I do, don't tell anybody. <laughs> and it seems to have lit right up. And I've got the fallout again. I'm going to show you guys what happens when you light magnesium in your garage. See all that? Oh man, that's great. It's in the air. It's all over the place. It's really great, isn't it? Mmm. Okay, well, there you have it. It's a different color. It's a little harder to scrape, uh, but it does, it does hold up. It lit, you know. It lit fairly easily. Um, shit, I mean, it's still going. You see the little sparks popping up. Seems to be working pretty well. So it does, what it's, it does what it's advertised. It is one of the fire starters uh, that actually works. Again, it is an SE brand magnesium fire starter. The item code for this is FS, as in Foxtrot Sierra, 374. So it works. It's kind of a neat deal. I mean, I, I swear, I, I saw one on Amazon for, for less than a dollar. Um, so it might be worth ordering. Then again, you know, your shipping is going to be more than your... Shipping's going to be more than your uh, total cost of the item, so maybe you want to buy like 10. And I know if you spend like $25 on Amazon, I think you, if it qualifies, you get like free shipping. So it might be worth checking out, guys. But um, let me know if you see any good deals on Firestarters. There's other brands you want to see me try. Um, I'm going to do a comparison of the SE Magnesium Firestarter, the Coglins Firestarter, the Coleman's Firestarter, and any other fire, Magnesium Firestarters I can get my hands on. I'm going to run a test. The goal in the test is to scrape off equal amounts of shavings. I'm going to try and I'm going to try and kind of regulate it a little bit, try and get some kind of a determination of the same consistency of shavings, so fine or thick or whatever. I'm going to try and get the most fine shavings and then the thickest shavings and see which ones light the easiest, see if they all work, see which bars hold up to being scraped the longest and uh, all that good stuff. Anyhow, you know what to do if you've seen some of my videos. If you don't, if you're new, if you're new, make sure you, you hit the like button, you hit the subscribe button, and you leave me a comment. I ask for so much in my videos. It just, it just helps. But, uh, but anyways, guys, I'm just giving you a hard time, but I'd really appreciate it. Um, tell me what you want to see with these. I've got a whole bunch of them, so let me know. Take care, guys.